you capture log the irradiated steak and save it for your trip outside. You probably shouldn't waste much more time. You wouldn't want all those nice depleted steak isotopes to settle down. You move over to examine the atomic base by your bed. You wouldn't exactly call it an atomic base, but it is heavily customised to accommodate a high level of musical virtuosity, the perfect instrument for the eclectically spirited. You've tuned the strings way down, of course, because your stumpy arms can't reach the low notes. You switch your eclectic bass to its advanced setting, but you probably switch it back, since obviously it is too complicated to play it in person like this. The default setting is your preferred mode for casual jamming. And since you can't possibly waste enough time playing music, casually jam is exactly what you're going to do. Log the base and then take the portable amp from the wall socket too. You think to open your lunch top, but you like to make yourself comfy in a plushy pile before getting down to business with your computer. Jade, get down to business. You activate Pester Chum, and hey look, John is online! Hooray! Also, it looks like Dave pestered you about something yesterday, but you missed it. You greet John, but he does not respond. He is undoubtedly gallivanting around his house in a state of barely restrained birthday mirth. He may also be retrieving the two packages and the two envelopes which you are certain came in the mail for him earlier. You will wait a little while and see if he returns before you head out. It is suggested that you check if Dave left you a sweet new wrap. It does not appear so, but you just never know with that crazy and cool guy. So cool. Hey. Oh, you're asleep again, aren't you? Or do you even know if you are? I still don't know how that works. It's like nothing means anything. It's so cool getting hella chumped by your coquettish damn riddles all the time. I don't know why I believe anything you say, I'm like the Grand Marshal of gross chumpage, waving around my faggoty chumductor baton. Assistant Director of Chumpography, celebrated author Ernest Chumpingway, wait, weak, chumple stiltskin, uh, chumple dipshit, yeah, you're asleep, yes or no? ASL? S equals species. Baboon? Kangaroo rat? If kangaroo rat, give twice please. Okay, well you're not saying anything, so I guess whether you're non-awake or unasleep or whatever, you're just not around and I'm wasting good material. Even worse, I'm wasting a killer fursona here. Like, I don't know, like a wide open V-shaped leotard and a fuck ton of body paint. Some like, sinewy back arcing Cirque du Soleil looking motherfucker, always low to the ground, getting a good prowl on, like I drop my keys in the dark. Nimblest son of a bitch who had the gumption to glue a nasty pair of latex cat lips to his face. For some reason that wasn't a joke. Jade, eh? Where are you? Seriously, I'm sitting here tonight with a fucking bag of kibble jacked open on my lap and primed for goddamn bear. And you're gone. By the way, my name is Aquet Permusk. Hardest buttock in the jungle. Temperate steel. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to give you this remix I finished. Here. So, yeah. You don't have to respond to any of that, by the way. I'll probably forget half the shit I said anyway. Talk to you tomorrow. You open Fresh Jam's media player and add Dave's remix to the playlist.
Jade, open Echidna and go to MSPaintAdventures.com. GT, boggle vacantly at these shenanigans. It begins to dawn on you that everything you just did may have been a colossal waste of time. You open your web browser and visit MSPA. You navigate to a random page in the middle of the latest epic. Looks like he was just finishing up some sort of weird tangential intermission here. Whatever it was, it clearly advanced the plot in no relevant way whatsoever. killed a little time, but still no sign of John. Jade, pester Dave. Hi Dave. We've heard this conversation already. Now Rose is online. Jade, pester Rose. I require a font of frighteningly accurate, yet infuriatingly non-specific information. Do you know where I can find a wellspring of this sort? <laughs> yes, okay, but we can't talk for long. You have plans? but it's just that you'll lose your internet connection soon, and we won't talk again for a pretty long time. Not until you enter. Enter? Yeah! This is what I was talking about. This was the itch that needed scratching. My avarice for the inscrutable is limitless. Well, what did you want to know? You've been insisting today was the big day. We would all play a game you didn't know the name of, a game you said I'd get in the mail and did, one that would help me answer some questions. But Strider is being obtuse. I can't catch John at his computer. You don't even have the game yourself. And on top of all that, my internet is unstable. So are you sure today is the day? There sure are a lot of challenges, but yes, I am sure. Dave is cool. You know he'll come around when the time is right. He just has a lot of work to do first, and so do you. You'll need to keep searching for a stable signal and power source. It will be hard, but don't give up. Don't worry about me either. Focus on playing with John first. It all starts with you two. Is there nothing else you can say to prepare me for this? I'm sure you think little of blithely upsetting dark forces with Grandpa Moreau over there on Hell Murder Island, but honestly, I've only read a few books on it. <laughs> dark? That's ridiculous. I don't really know what to tell you other than that it's not going to be what you think it is. And most importantly, you will have all your questions answered. But they will be the ones you haven't thought to ask yet. Just be patient and brave, and you'll see. It'll be fun. 
Uh oh, looks like you've got to go. Take care, Rose! Jade, be the other girl. You are now the other girl several hours into the future. It appears a secret passage in the mausoleum has been opened. It's getting awfully toasty in here. You gather up your belongings, including your dead cat. Rose, descend. Jade, stop being the other girl and pester John again. You've spent enough time for now concerning yourself with the future of your friends. John will not be available until later. By then he will have his hands full, as will you. You pack up your lunch top and get ready to take care of some business downstairs. Jade, descend. Try as you might, you can't stop your mind from drifting to the fate of your friends. You dwell on a particular configuration of reminders on your finger, 